who remember the lives lost six years ago this week in the car fire. It was six years ago today that the tire rim of a trailer sparked the car fire, 1.15 p.m. on the 23rd of uh, July in, in uh, 2018. Just three days later, a fire NATO trapped and killed Reading firefighter Jeremy Stoke. Firefighters had the fire fully out on the 38th day. By then, it had burned nearly 230 acres and killed eight people. It destroyed more than 1,600 homes. Now, one of those homes belonged to our Action News Now reporter, Jesse Angelo. So, Jesse, what are you willing to share with us about your experiences back then? Sure, sure, Haley. Uh, yes, it's a, it's a day that I certainly will never forget. Um, going to work one morning and not knowing at that time that I would never get to come back um, and to see not just the, the devastation in, in my own loss, but to see so many others around our community here in Reading uh, who, who also lost just everything that they had in their homes. But homes can be rebuilt and trees grow back, but those that lost their lives are an extra tragedy and eight of those people lost their lives during the car fire and as you mentioned one of those was Jeremy Stoke who upon hearing that the flames were reaching the city was in the middle of his vacation he took uh, he came back four days early in order to help out with evacuation efforts around the city and later that day paid the ultimate sacrifice uh, as as he and so many others were bravely fighting the flames of the car fire. But uh, there is a silver lining even to that story as Jeremy's son is now following in his father's footsteps. I spoke with Captain uh, Kyle Foote here at Reading Fire Station Number 1 about that. Here, take a listen. I'm also an instructor out at the Shasta College for the Fire Academy out there, and this year his son just graduated and it was bittersweet uh, seeing it, um, something that he should have been a part of, but knowing that uh, his kid is accomplishing and pushing himself in the right direction and he still got the support of all of us behind him. And as this year's fire season continues, it's comforting to know that so many dedicated firefighters like the ones here at fire station number one are willing to take that risk in order to help protect our communities. Live in Reading, Jesse Angelo, Action News Now. Jesse, I know it was hard to talk about that and we're so grateful for you sharing your experience and being with us to share with the community on a day like this. It's, I know, really tough. Cal Fire says the 2018 wildfire season was the deadliest and most destructive wildfire season on record in California, with more than 7,500 fires burning over 1.6 million acres.